crypto slow, cryptocurrency news and investing. Crypto slow with more crypto gains. What's going on, guys? So today, a quick video related to HoneySwap, and that is how to switch XDAI back to DAI. There's a lot of videos on switching DAI to XDAI, and there's like no videos on switching XDAI back to DAI. So the reason people have XDAI is so that they can perform transactions on a second layer, um, uh, specifically HoneySwap, and make trades. Now, what I found was HoneySwap's a great idea, but I do believe it's quite a bit of friction for users, and there's not as much liquidity on that side to make it worth it. Honestly, people are making such insane gains on ETH that I really think the gas fees are just the cost of doing business. So let's get into the video. First and foremost, we're going to go ahead and use the bridgexdie.com website. I know there's a couple other bridges, but this um, is one of the main ones on the stake bridge. So we're assuming that you've already added the XDAI network to your MetaMask. So to switch XDAI back to DAI, you want to start on the XDAI network, okay? And as you can see, it shows I have 12 XDAI. I'm going to put a precursor out there on this that there is a 10 DAI minimum. So if you have less than 10 DAI, um, you can't use this specific bridge. But what the bridge does is it bridges the Ethereum network with the um, XDAI network. So let's get to it. So I've got 12 XDAI and I really, like I said, just don't have interest on trading on HoneySwap. So I want to get my money back. So I'm going to go 12.19. Um, and like I said, make sure that your wallet is on the XDAI network. So the left side is the XDAI and this is my destination. So this is the from and this is the destination. If you notice, if I switch to the Ethereum network, it'll flip flop this. It'll say ETH to this. So if I wanted to move DAI to XDAI, conversely, I would do it this way. But we're going to start on the XDAI side. So XDAI side, I'm going to put in my XDAI. I'm going to hit request. Okay, da, da 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 please confirm. So the biggest thing that you need to know is there's going to be two transactions, one on the XDAI network and one on the Ethereum side. So the XDAI network gas will be low, the, the Ethereum side will be the normal gas. So I'm going to hit continue. Okay, I'm going to hit confirm. I'm not going to mess with the gas. And I have to wait for eight block confirmations. All right, I've got my eight confirmations. Now, this is the important part. I'm now going to switch to the main Ethereum network. Okay, do that. And then the claim box appears. Then I hit claim. I adjust my gas. Hit confirm. And once again, I have to wait for confirmations. Okay, that was painful. <laughs> a waiting an eternity. So now if I refresh my screen, you can see that I received my die. So that's it. That's all there is to it. So again, HoneySwap is a great idea in theory, but it is a lot of friction and complexity um, to the system for the average user. So I am pretty much just exiting out and I thought I would share that video with you. As always, like, subscribe. Be sure to check out official Crypto Slow gear below the videos. Have a great day. Stay safe. This is Crypto Slow. If you're not talking gains, then we're not talking.